Hi there, Aquarius. Welcome to your channel Intuitive Forecast from the Gasmic Tarot. As we expand on the energy, here is your reading for January, month of January 2022. General reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest for everyone else. That's right, because it's a general reading. Yeah, you might want to look at the forecast for your moon and rising. And there is a link in the description if you need to calculate yours. We have some foundational cards and then we'll get some clarification from the smallest, most slippery deck in the world. I am traveling, so there's no good coffee for the medium, no macchiato. I'm drinking a bunch of ugh, foul coffee. But hey, you know, it is caffeine. All right, if it resonates with you, if you want to claim the reading, just tell me where you're watching from. I really enjoy that. Then uh, throw a comment below the video. And thanks for your likes. Thanks for clicking the button to subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you. Also, end of, the, end of the video, a story of personal manifestation to help you with your manifestation practice. So what do we have? We have the moon. We have the page of earth. And we have the page of fire. Wow. This is going to be really cool. With the moon, you see clearly. Things are illuminated. You see beyond the veil of illusion, which allows you to make plans. It allows you to see things so clearly that you know what your next steps are through January as you're making your resolutions, as you're making your plans for 2022. And thank goodness, good riddance to 2021. This is, uh, so you've got this, and this, this page of earth, is your commitment to prosperity. You're taking that step, that, that step in the direction. You're taking that action. You will see the first signs of tangible uh, success. Undeniable evidence that you're manifesting into the material world, that your hard work is paying off, that you're, um, and, and these are dreams great, uh, grounded in reality. You're starting new projects in January, ones that will be fruitful for you. And then you've got this page of fire, and this is you are fired up. You're back in the zone, strong and mighty, jazzed, okay? You got your moxie back. You're enthusiastic. You're adventurous. Um, again, this is about beginning new projects. So with both of these cards about beginning something new, maybe it's a new job. Maybe it's a new side business. Maybe it's um, could be a... Uh, uh, a new project in the home, something that's really going to tickle the heart and the pocketbook, by the way. So just be aware of that as you're going through January because you are seeing things very clearly so you know which direction to take. Okay. Yep. That's the Page of Pentacles, by the way. Okay. Oh, yeah. Look at that. All right, anything else, Spirit, you want to share? Gee, thanks. I'll take this one with the half a deck that you left up out. <laughs> Any more? Anything? All right, we'll take the bottom of the deck. Oh, this one was turned over. All right, cool. Thanks. All right, so what do we have here? We have the the um, Three of Swords. We have the Page of Pentacles, the Three of Rods, the Six of Coins. Good for you. Knight of Pentacles and the Strength card. There's some kind of situation, some kind of hurt, some kind of you feel betrayed in some way, or somebody has hurt you and has taken some of your energy, your time. Um, this may, or that's how you see it. Uh, some kind of past discretion, uh, misdiscre misdiscretion, if that's the right terminology, and I apologize. It's still early here, and I am traveling, and the coffee isn't my typical macchiato. But... Uh, something that that you that has been heavy on the heart that you need to release and there's as I said you're seeing things clearly so you'll be able to let go of this because if you do boy 
January is going to be delicious for you. And, and I'm getting from spirit that through 2022, things are going to be on the uptick. Page of Pentacles, openings, new opportunities. You've got yellow, green, and blue here, okay, or turquoise, yellow. So solar plex chakra, self-esteem, self-worth, showing your power, your strength. Back to that strength card. You are strong. You are mighty. You can do anything. And you start believing this about you and your possibilities. The green in here, that little bit of green, right over the guy's heart. Heart chakra, healing. You are healing. From whatever this past hurt is, turquoise, throat chakra, creativity, a creative birthing time. This guy, the bearer of good news when it comes to money and increases in prosperity in January. And I see from spirit saying through the beginning of this year, nice outlook, money coming to you. But you're making plans to move forward. There's increases in finance here. This is about money coming. This is about financial upticks. So there's a lot of money here. Just know your strength. Know that you have control of the reality that you're creating. And, you know, the only little teeny piece of homework here from Spirit is to spend some time to let go of those negative emotions associated with this past situation. Maybe you want to do a release ceremony for that. But January looks delicious for you. So enjoy. All right, so before I get to the story, thanks again for your likes and thanks for clicking the button to subscribe to the channel. This week's story is about the Marriott. So long time back, I'm going to attend a seminar that I, personal seminar, uh, in Des Moines. And it was at the Marriott, and I don't know, it must have been the height of the season, but it was like almost 350 a night for a room. It was ridiculous. Maybe it's because they were, I had a, they only had a few rooms available. Not sure. Anyway, I didn't want to pay that kind of money. So I ended up booking a, um, a hotel, a, an old hotel, historic hotel around the corner for $99 that had internet. And it had hotel shuttle. Because I was taking the airfare, it was last minute. I used points. I ended up getting in pretty late. Almost like 11 something. It was almost midnight. I called the hotel to get my shuttle. And they said, oh, we stopped that service two weeks ago. Okay. I took it in stride. And I got into a cab. And I took the cab to the hotel. And... As I'm there, going to check in. There were a few people in the lobby. Apparently, the air conditioning in their rooms was on the frets. Okay, so it wasn't working properly. I check in anyway. I go up to my room. No internet. I tilt my head up to the ceiling in the corner of my eye, and I say, Hey, guys, I'm sure something amazing is going to come of this. More amazing than I can imagine. And I took my suitcase, which was not even, you know, I didn't touch, I didn't unpack anything. I went right back down. I went to the guy at the, 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 the desk and I said to him, I said, hi, I'm not angry with you, but I'm not sure this is the place I should be. This isn't going to work for me. And he said, oh, that's fine. That's fine. We're not going to charge you. I said, well, can you do me a favor? Could you call a hotel that might have availability so I can get on and, and get there? And he gave me the phone. He had called the Marriott. So I'm on the phone with the Marriott, and I explained the situation. I said, hey, you know, and here I'm at it, da, da, da. And I said, so can you do anything for me? And the guy goes, how's $99 a night? Now, this is the same hotel I had a, that if I would have booked it two days early, it would have been three fifty. So I go there. They pick me up in, like, their shuttle from this other hotel, so I didn't have to walk there in the middle of the night. Pick me up. They check me in. The guy hands me four bottles of water. He puts me on the concierge level. Free breakfast, free coffee. You know, the little continental breakfast they have on that floor. The executive class, whatever. Um, puts me there. Puts me, um, it has a happy hour with, with beer, wine, and food. For 
And then all I had to do was walk downstairs to the seminar. All because I stayed positive. Because when you manifest, we're manifesting all the time. When you manifest when a positive emotion, that vibration, in my experience, always brings me what I prefer. If this helps in your manifestation practice, throw a comment below the video. I'll continue the stories. If you didn't like the story, honey, yeah, you don't have to watch all the way through the video. Enjoy your January. Enjoy. You got a lot going for you. It's going to be amazing. All right. Take care. We'll see you soon.